And now in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma, the city of Coral Gables today said it is ready to file a lawsuit against Florida Power and Light over its performance tied to the storm. FPNL, which just a few weeks ago was calling, called it a threatened lawsuit frivolous and ludicrous, is now saying it's ready to talk. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has more. For days and weeks after Irma, a minimal hurricane for us, thousands of customers were without power. We met 84-year-old Phyllis Krug, wheelchair-bound, disabled with a stove and microwave, but no power to run them. It's been a nightmare. It's been horrible. Commissioner Mayna? Yes. Vice Mayor Keon? Yes. And Coral Gables yes. commissioners made good on a promise Tuesday to approve a suit against FPL to force the company to honor its contract to provide dependable electricity. The suit saying in part, FPL's failures have put the residents of the city and other affected cities at risk. Unfortunately for FPL, the storm exposed the systemic failure to maintain its systems. So we want our infrastructure, our, transfor our 60 year old transformers to be updated. We want for the poles not to break because of old age. Imagine if Irma had been a major hurricane here. The Gables says FPL needs to take care of basics, trimming back trees along lines like it used to. If this were like a category two or three hurricane, we believe it would devastate the power grid and, and these sort of common sense changes which are required by the contract anyhow, that would help fix it. FPL was dismissive of the city when it first brought up a suit in one statement saying frivolous lawsuits and ludicrous code violations will not work. An FPL attorney called the Gables uninformed and gratuitous, refusing to even talk to the city. But the same FPL lawyer Tuesday seemed to have his hat in his hand. One, will we sit down and talk? Yes. So if you want to know, will we talk before you need to file anything? Yes, we will talk. Commissioner said all right, but insisted. We want to achieve these goals to protect our residents. And the city said talks must lead to deals in writing that FPL will replace its decades-old transformers and poles and maintain its right-of-way or else. The Gables will file suit against the giant utility. In Coral Gables, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.